Hey guys, my name is Chantel. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for hanging out with me today. And we're back to talk about Fruits Basket episode 6 with my good friend Mia. Hello. We got some we're back. stuff to say, man. Okay. <laughs> it was a lot to take in. There yeah. like there was <laughs> I told on. I told Mia there was one part where I was like, I'm gonna need a little bit more clarification because I hope it's not what I think. <laughs> I'm here to clarify. <laughs> but basically, what I'm referring to is the part with Rin and Shigure. <laughs> I had a feeling that's what you were gonna talk- you were ask, gonna ask you about. Yeah. Because when I saw it, I was like, hold up, bitch, what the fuck is happening right now? I was like, please tell me they didn't do what I think they did. <laughs> I assume they're gonna show you, like, what happened after that in the next episode, but I can't, like, guarantee that. So, she has a reason why she's doing it. She's not just doing it because, like, She's bored or something. So basically, okay, you can keep this part. Yes, she's trying to seduce Shigure. And the only reason she's doing it is because she's trying to like sexually like um, offer herself to him in exchange for information. So that's I why knew. she's doing that. <laughs> I figured that's probably what it was, but I was like, girl, don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Not with Shigure, please. Oh, that leads into my like next thing that I do want to talk about because bitch, <laughs> bitch, what the fuck? Um, so <laughs> I mean, if, <laughs> if you want to like, whatever you thought was implied at the end of the episode, I'm gonna confirm that and say yes. Like that's a thing. Whoa, they're adults. They sure are. They like to hoe around. Shigure is the biggest hoe man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty big Akito is kind of a hoe too though. They're again, they're both like hoes. <laughs> they like to sleep around with people. They like to fuck people. And fuck with people. For reasons. For yeah, for reasons, but it's yeah. <laughs> so whatever you thought was implied at the end where he closed the door and like Akito basically like gets on top <laughs> of him. Um yeah, Yep. That, that happened. <laughs> yeah. It's a thing. Like, it's a thing that happens. Oh man, I'm still like, God damn it, Shigure. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna tell you why or anything else, cause I, like then this whole video is just gonna be me spoiling everything. We'll find out eventually more about their relationship. Oh boy, and we finally got the beach episode that everyone's been going nuts about that I've been hearing. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared, man. Oh, things are only beginning from here. Yep. We're starting to see, like, just the surface of it, man. We still haven't deep-dived <laughs> into all the shit that's gonna happen. Nope. Because it does start off happy with them having fun and stuff, but then, um, Hiro asks about Toto's dad. And she ends up feeling a little sad. I felt really bad, because, like... <sighs> Like, you see, like, when everybody is, like, I guess gone to bed, she's just, like, alone on the balcony and, like, trying to calm herself down. I felt so bad. Yeah. Oh, it's because there's, like, it's, like, a complicated thing with, like, Toto and her dad because, like, her dad died when she was, like, three. Yeah. So she, like, doesn't really remember him. So I thought it was really weird that she didn't tell, like, Hiro, like, right away when he gave, him, gave her, like, her little notebook thingy yeah. with the picture. She just kind of, like, avoided it. Yeah, because she, uh, yeah, she doesn't, like, remember or know too much. I just thought it was and, weird because I know she told uh, Kyo and Yuki that, you know, he had died from being sick. So I was like, huh, that's kind of interesting that she doesn't, like, want to tell Hiro all it's because he died and I don't really remember him. Of course she's going to talk about her mom more. She, you know, her mom was, oh shit, her mom was more around <laughs> when she was growing up and everything. But yeah, she doesn't really talk about her dad. I don't know if we're gonna go into more like detail about that, but I assume so, possibly. I think so, especially <laughs> since uh, Kyo was like, he's still upset about something, and he kind of has a feeling it had to do with something that Hiro said, even though yeah. he wasn't like near when that happened. But Kyo knows, and I was like, oh shit, like he notices. He's yeah. paying attention. Well, yeah, because his feelings are becoming realized, I think. <laughs> This, but like it's well I mean it's obvious yeah it's just kind of like it's becoming more like routine for him I think like caring more about her and noticing when she's not 
a hundred percent herself. I think at this point both Yuki and Kyo are kind of like realizing they both notice more things about Toru than like everybody else does. So get ready for more love triangle, love rivalry shit. Everybody. Oh man. <laughs> Especially with that like damn confession Yuki The stupid hat made its reappearance after a long while. Yep. Find out whose hat it was. Mm-hmm. It was Yuki. Yep. Bitch. <laughs> like, what the yep, fuck? it was his hat. There's a lot of history going on with the fucking hat. I thought about it, and I was like, I think this is the history with the hat, too. And then I checked, and I was like, ooh, bitch, I was right. I remembered something correctly. Because uh, there's more to the hat than meets the eye. Did you know that the hat never appeared in the original anime? Yeah, when I looked at, when I was, like, ch double-checking to make sure that, like, what I remembered was correct. Yep. Yeah. It was a fact, because the hat has its own fucking wiki article. <laughs> what the fuck? I know there was like a joke at the beginning when season one was around where uh, people were joking around saying that the hat was basically a main character at that point. Yep. But the fact that we finally find out it was Yuki and it yeah. was a time where he escaped the Soma estate. Like, bitch, what the fuck? Yeah. That's not what I expected. <laughs> Yep. Soon we're gonna see, like, how Toru got the hat and everything. Because it has to do with, like, her mom and stuff also. Well, I can't so, wait to see that, man. So you'll find out how Toru got Yuki's hat and how he and both Kyo are like, what the fuck, at the hat. Yeah, because I know that's what confused me back in season one was that they both saw the hat and they both had, like, a reaction to it. So I'm like, okay, then who the fuck does this hat belong to? Yeah. <laughs> With this episode showed us it was Yuki's, but then right now that you just mentioned about Kyo, I'm like, well, is it really? I don't know. I mean, I do know, but but I but they both kind of realized like, oh, she's had it like for a really long time since she was like little. Yeah, because I know Yuki even asked in this episode, he's like, why do you have like that old thing that's not like you? And she's like, it's like because it's a precious little memory in my life. And I was like, bitch, stop. I mean... We got a little bit of backstory, <laughs> man, on the hat. Yeah. Finally. I've been yes. dying to know about this goddamn fucking hat, man. Yeah. See, I think that's also why people were like, oh, the hat, the hat's here. Because, like, it's not in the original series. Which I'm yeah. pretty sure a lot of people were probably kind of pissed about. Because it's like, what about the hat? Because I remember when I read, like, when I read it and it was revealed that, like, it was Yuki's hat. It's just, it was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> Even in season one, like, by the, like, little flashback, you could tell it was Yuki. Like, the hat deserves its own spinoff. It does, man. At this point, it really does. <laughs> What else happened? Um, they mm. went swimming, and they did. Hiro and Kisa kind of got in an argument with each other. Yeah, over basically Toru. Which I was like, God damn it, Hiro! Like, stop being a little shit. Yeah, like, I like that Kisa does tell him like on the spot, like, "Hey, that was like mean of you. Why are you being like that?" That was not cool, bro. But I like that they do make up and apologize, even yeah. though he like hits her in the face. I know what an idiot. <laughs> Poor Kisa. I mean, he didn't mean it, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then, like, um... Well, I was kind of pissed, because I'm like, dude, why are you sitting on the beach in your clothes? Like, just, like, I don't want to go swimming. Like, bro, you're at the beach. Go swimming. Literally everyone else is in the water. <laughs> dude, it's, like, hot. Like, you, wouldn't you want right? to go it's swimming? It's, like, hot outside. Like, why wouldn't you... You're already, at, you're already there. Like, just go swimming. That's why I don't understand in, like, certain, like in like certain anime or even in like video games I'm like why are you wearing a jacket to the beach it's hot outside or like why are you wearing regular clothes to the beach like, it's, it's hot, hot as fuck man <laughs> it's hot as fuck you're in Japan in the summer it's like so fucking humid it's humid where we live and hot not where I live it's dry over here but that's, still oh yeah that's right that's right <laughs> yeah it's a nightmare cause even Kyo I'm like why are you wearing jeans it's the, you're at the beach it's hot. And then he just gets in with like he all just, of his clothes in too. I'm like what the fuck? I was like, why did you get in the in the ocean too? Like in salt water in your jeans. Like wouldn't that be uncomfortable? Like, man? You're gonna be all <laughs> gross and uncomfortable walking back to the damn house in your jeans all soaking wet. Oh my god, but Toto was so cute when she was swimming. I know. She <laughs> holds her breath in. And I, was like, I know, like one fuck? breath, like damn. <laughs> That's impressive. Like, Cause even poor Yuki was like, what the fuck? I know. They were all kind of like, what are you, what, what is happening? <laughs> and they were all having fun until, like, you know, the whole thing with a dad, and then yeah. Yuki gets a fever. And he was being so cute with Toro. I know, when he grabbed her hair, I was like, oh shit, is he playing with her hair? And then, like, 
kid showed it and I was like, oh my god, this is like the cutest thing ever. I feel like he was saying awesome because he was kind of delirious and stuff from his fever. So he's not like all there. But it's because he wants to tell her that he was the boy who gave her the hat. Yeah. But also, um, he's starting to realize his feelings already. Like before Kyo. Like, he knows there's some feelings going on, so it's kind of like, he doesn't understand, well, not understand, but he doesn't know what to do. So he's kind of acting upon them, but, like, not really. Especially with Hatsuhara's little encouragements here and there, where he's like, dude, go for it. Espe and, it well, and it also doesn't help that, like, Ayame is, like, constantly always trying to put Yuki and Poru together. Yeah. Uh, which I'm like, I feel you, Ayame. <laughs> That's my ship right there. I will forever be a Yuki a Yuki Toru stan. I'll forever like be on that ship train <laughs> forever. It's just like, you know, like 10, 11 year old me. It's just like, oh. That's probably like one of like the first like love triangles that I was like super invested in. Because again, as I said in the last episode, like Kyo is like too. Kyo, like for me, especially like in middle school, Kyo is like too. He's, like, too much of a boy. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, he's too vulgar and too loud and too, like, angry all the time. <laughs> like that's talking about Ryuji? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I uh... mean, yes, but now it's, like, now that's, like, more appealing, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I feel like, like, middle school me was more into, like, well, I want boys who are nice. I like boys that are nice. I don't like boys that are, like, mean. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I just always generalize it as, like, well, Kyo is mean and, and, like, loud and kind of a jerk, and Yuki's not. So I like Yuki, <laughs> but I, st I still just really like him. He's still, like, my, my fave. He's one still of my your first, number one. Still my number one. He's still one of my first anime manga crushes, husbandos, from way back when, as a little baby child. As a wee child. Yes. <laughs> as a little child. As a, as a manga reader in, like, middle school. But... People are realizing their feelings, other feelings are coming out, and people are going over to other places and sleeping with other people, and dark shit's coming. It's a mess. It is. We're barely, like, scraping the surface, man, and... Well, yeah, this is only episode six. <laughs> like, there's so much that's gonna happen. And then fucking Shigure has to invite Akito to the... Yep. Uh... <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. Because he likes to cause drama. God damn it, Shigure. I think he has a reason, but I don't remember what it is. Guess we'll find out soon. But I think that's all my thoughts that I have for today. Mine too, man. Can't wait for the next episode. <laughs> Me too. You know, it sounds all happy and shit because, you know, it's Momiji reading the title card. But don't let that fool you. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I, hey, Shigure's the one who's invited Akito to the goddamn beach house, so. God damn it, Shigure fucking things up. Well, I gotta wait to prepare. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, I'm done now. Okay. Well, that is all our thoughts, you guys. And like always, next week's episode is gonna be up on Mia's channel, so mm. please go over there, like, subscribe. Do all that good shit. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I do apologize the last episode was, like, uh, pretty late. And we also have a podcast, which we do record monthly for that. Yes. Uh, go send your questions in, y'all. We are doing Mystic Messenger for the month of May, so you Woo! guys got time. But other than that, I think that is it from us for tonight, you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye!